Is it clear? Okay, light kitchen. Okay. So now when we talk about electric potential. So when we talk about electric potential, we are talking about some stops. Everyone, we know we have two types of energy. One is the potential energy, and the other is the kinetic energy. So, and let's talk about it with masses now. Look. Let's talk about it with masses. Now, potential in the sense that we are talking about mass means the work done in bringing that mass from a point where it has a particular height to a point when the height is zero or to a point when there is no more potential energy. For potential to occur in a gravitational field, there must always be H. So now let us look at for electric field. The potential, when they say gravitational potential, gravitational potential, it is the work done in moving or it is the work done when a body, that is a mass, moves from infinity to a point, or from one point to infinity, yeah. It is the work done by a body that is moving from a particular point to infinity. So when we now talk about electric potential, so electric potential is the work done by a positive charge that is moving to infinity. We are talking about charge here, electric potential. This is the charge. If there is another positive charge around this charge, then they will definitely reflect each other. So as this one is reflecting, it will keep reflecting until it is no more under the influence of this charge. So before it could reach that point, that point will be a, at a potential of zero. Potential of zero. And that point is infinity. The point is going to be infinity. That is why we say that it is the work done in moving a positive charge from a point to infinity. The work done in moving a positive charge from the point it is to infinity. That is what we call electric potential. So with the definition, we should be able to derive the formula. Electric potential is the work done to move a positive charge. That is work per charge. Electric potential Electric potential is equal to work done over charge. So people actually write it as minus because it goes to infinity. So work done equals to W over Q. Where the um, potential, rather, potential, electric potential equals to W over Q. Where the W is representing our work done and Q is representing the charge. So when we say the W is given, like, let's say, what is the electric potential? What is the electric potential of a body, of a charge of five columns? Yeah, I've given the formula here, V equals W Q. Q. So what is the electric potential? That is V. What is the electric potential of a charge of five microcoulombs? Q is five microcoulombs. That's moves with an energy of seven joules, seven joules. So what is the electric potential? Anyone with the answer, solve it and tell me. The formula is given already. And tell me the unit too. I'm waiting for you. Zero point fourteen joules per color. B 
did you convert it to to coulomb from micro coulomb you said five micro coulombs did you I'm waiting for you guys. Is there anyone that has gotten it? 1.4 times 10 to the power 5. 5 what? What is the unit? Okay, let me see. Eh, Joe Paco, yay, Uluwa, Lomo. Let me see, please. Let me see the. I'm sorry, because that. Correct. Joe Paco. Joe by Colum. Yeah, Joe by Colum. So, but there is one better way we call it. We use Volt to call it. Volt. I think it was named after Alessandro Volta. So, the unit of this potential, and that electric potential now, is Volt. So, now the work is W over Q. That is the formula. Where W is the work done, that is 7 over Q. That's 5 times 10 to the power minus 6. So this is going to be 7 over 5. That is 1.4 times 10 to the power 6 volts. Where did you see times 10 to the power 5? Everyone, did you understand what we did here? Please, if you understood, let's know. If you didn't, let's know. Okay, again. We said we are asked to look for the potential, electric potential. And we are given the charge that is moving. The charge is going to infinity. And the electric potential given is, and the, the charge is five microcoulombs. The work done is seven joules. So what is the electric potential? It's going to be W over Q. That is the work done per charge. Electric potential means the work done to move the charge. That is W over Q. So W is 7, as we know here. Over Q is what? 5 times 10 raised to power minus 6. So we have 1.4 times 10 raised to power 6 volt. That is the unit of electric potential. So now let's do some pony workings here. I need you to be very attentive. All these topics are full of derivation of formulas until we get to capacitance and the main electromagnetism. All these ones are just deriving formulas and the light. Look at this. V is equal to W over Q. Definitely W can be equal to what? VQ. So the work done is equal to the electric potential times the charge. So if you have any misconception here, just quickly ask now. If you don't understand anything, let's know before we go too far. So, this work done now, if you, don't for, if you do not forget, work done is the product of force and the distance. So, let's say the distance covered is delta x. Delta x times force. The force, that is the formula for work done. Force times distance. We call the distance delta x. And we say this is the force used. This is the body, see. This is delta x, this is the distance x. This is point A, this is point B, this is C. So we are saying the body moving from B to C now must cover the charge moving from B to C must cover this distance delta x. That is the distance. And it must use a particular force F, right? So what is the work done by the charge? The work done is going to be the force X, F times the delta X. So now, in the electric field, what is an electrostatic force? What is the Coulomb's force? Formula is what? Q1, Q2 over 4 pi epsilon naught R squared. So my R is representing delta X here. Delta X squared. So force times distance, so times delta X. Because this is the old formula for force. 
and delta x is this delta x. So delta x cancels one delta x. So we have q squared over 4 pi epsilon naught delta x. So this is the formula for the work done in an electric field. Work done in an electric field is a very important formula. You, you need to use it. W equals to Q squared over 4 pi epsilon naught delta x. So now let's go with it now. Let's say you are given the you are given the um you are given the charge. This is the charge. <laughs> let's take it that way. What is the energy? What is the energy used by a charge of seven coulombs, seven micro coulombs? What is the energy used by a charge of seven micro coulombs that moves a distance of 10 raised to power minus seven meters? That is delta X. So what is the work done by the body? I want you guys to help us do it. The formula is right here. So you can just do it for us, please. Do it for us, please. So you are, you are given that the, the charge of seven micro coulombs moves a distance of 10 to power minus seven meters. So W is what? We are talking about quantum stuff. That's why we are not using big measurements. So W is what? What is the work done? That is, what is the energy used by that body? What is the work done by that body? Work done is a measure of energy. And I want you to note something. Potential energy is a scalar quantity because energy is actually a scalar quantity before. So electric potential is a scalar quantity. Electric potential is a scalar quantity, just like electric flux. They are both scalar quantity. Yeah. It's your own network. So Q is seven micro columns. Delta X is 10 to power minus seven meters. So find the work done. I'm waiting for you guys. Please, I have a question. Does that one, yeah. that Q, that charge, does it represent the, the two charges? Yes, now it is. That's, that's why we wrote Q squared at the end of the day. Okay. Yes. Okay. Anyone with the answer? I'm getting 5.44. 5. 5. 4, 5. 4 what? 4. 5.4 as your final answer? Yes. Okay, 5.4. What is the unit then? I don't know how to pronounce this one. Is it column square per meter? No, there is one unit for work done now. What is the unit of energy? Joules. Okay, you are doing well. So 5.4 joules. Is there, yes, any, 
Let somebody else. What did you? What did you? You had another thing. You had time sensitive to buy minus four. You shouldn't. You should not have time sensitive to buy minus four. Oh, okay. Wait, oh. My tea. Can it be there? Minus 14. Minus 14. So, Joy, did you get that? Yes. Uh -huh. So, your own powers. Look at, work, work on, look at the indices you do very well. Okay, that's that as for that. We're able to achieve that with this formula here. So, now, remember very well that potential is equal to work done by charge, right? Definitely, we can say the formula that we derive. Sorry, the formula we derived for work done is what? Q squared over 4 pi epsilon naught delta x. Here's so divided by, yes. divided by Q. Oh, that is that is 1 over Q. Please mute your mic. So this Q now cancels one of the Qs here, the square. Okay. So we have the formula for electric potential to be Q over 4 pi epsilon naught delta X. Q over 4 pi epsilon naught delta X. Is there another person that got it apart from Prodigy? Any other person? I think network is suffering everybody tonight. This is what we did do. <laughs> so V equals W over Q. And we got the formula for W work done as Q squared over 4 pi epsilon not the X. So that is the 4 pi epsilon not the S, Q squared over that times 1 over Q, that is, we divided it by Q. So this Q is definitely going to cancel one of the Qs here. That is why we have this as our formula for electric potential. Electric potential, this is the formula. So now let us look at something new. The potential that is having, that is, that is no more going to infinity, but between two definite points. So we call them we will just call it a potential difference. But before that, look at it. This is the origin. I can say it is infinity. It goes here. So let's say this is a point A. This is a point B. So the body moving from infinity gets to point A. You know the work done it takes to get to point A. So, after getting to point A, it now heads towards point B. So, the potential difference to get to point A will be the potential difference VA, right? So, and the potential difference to come to B originally, if it was coming to B alone, it will be the potential difference VB. And this will be a particular distance, RU. This will be another distance, R, we can call this RA and call this RB. So, but the distance, the, the potential difference between potential of A and potential of B, a body moving from A to B, the potential difference will be represented as VBA. VBA is the potential difference of a body moving from point B, from point A to point B. And it is going to be potential difference of B minus potential difference of A. Are we moving together? It is going to be the potential difference of B minus the potential difference of A. So now, what is the potential difference of B here? Potential difference of B will have the distance and everything here. So that is Q of B, right? The formula we derived earlier. Over 4 pi epsilon naught, the distance of B, RB. Minus Q over 4 pi epsilon naught RA. This is for A, because the distance A, RA, the distance RB. So that is VB minus BA. So we can see what is very common here now, right? So we can take Q out, 4 pi epsilon naught is common. So we have 1 over RB minus 1 over 
ROA. So this is potential difference. Some people represent it with pi. They call it pi BA equals this. So this is the basic formula or the general formula for potential difference. If it looks hard or complex for you to memorize, just note this point. And what? When it's time, you just derive them when it's time to use them. You know that potential difference is work done over charge. What is formula for work done? Force times distance. So what is force? Coulomb's force, you know that. So you just do your work like that and like that. You just divide the work done by the charge. Then you are going to have Q over 4 pi epsilon naught R. So that is that as for that. We'll be using this to solve some problems now. Let's say now we have more than one. We have point A, point B, and point C. Now find the origin. Find the potential difference that is acting at the origin. Then the potential difference that is acting at the origin is going to be the general potential difference. It's going to be the summation of all the potential differences. That is Q over 4 pi epsilon naught RU. So I over, so a particular charge and a distance I, a distance RI. So it might be first charge. I have an example I have in one book here. So Q1 for R1, Q2 for R2, Q3 for R3, something like that. They are asking you to look for the total potential difference at the origin of the of the system. So let, let me look for it. Please, we can hear you in case. I forgot, fuck up. Okay. I forgot, I didn't unmute my mic. Q1, they said the following point charges are placed on the X axis like this. Two micro coulombs at 20 cm, this is it. Minus three micro coulomb at 30 cm and minus four micro coulomb at 40 cm. Like this. So coming to the origin, coming to the origin, and coming to the origin. So they say, what is the total potential difference at the origin? This one will have its own potential difference. This one will have its own potential difference. This one will have its own potential difference. Let's add them together to get the potential, the electric potential at the origin. Did we get what is asked now? So we are looking for the total potential. Yes, sir. And the total potential now is going to be the potential of V1 plus V2 plus V3. I wrote a formula here earlier. Forget about it. You understand? It is very correct. You understand me? But it might look complex to you because of the sigma, the summation sign. So you can just come here and write your own formula as V1 plus V2 plus V3. It's not a must you put it as summation. So what is your V1? This is Q1. This is X1. 
So definitely V1 is going to be Q1 over 4 pi epsilon naught X1 plus V2 over 4 pi epsilon naught X2 plus V um, Q, Q3 over 4 pi epsilon naught X3 like that. So you take your Q1, that is 2 over over x1 is what? 20 given. Times 10 raised to the power minus 2. That is, you divide it by 100 to take it to what? To meters. So this is 0 0.2 meters. This is 0 0.3 meters. And this is 0 0.4 meters. So this is 2 over 2 times 10 raised, 20 times 10 raised to the power minus 2. I divided it by 100 here. So times 9 times 10 raised to the power 9. That is 4 pi epsilon naught. 1 over that plus q2 is what minus 3 so minus 3 times 9 times 10 raised to power 9 over x2 is what 0 0.3 that is 30 times 10 raised to power minus 2 plus q3 that is also minus 4 power minus 3 and this is what times 9 times 10 raised to power 9. So you can see times 9 times 10 raised to power 9 is come up everything. I can bring it out and say 9 times 10 raised to power 9. So then I will finish everything here. 2 over 20 times 10 raised to power minus 2. That is 0 0.2. Minus, because plus times minus is minus. 3 over 0 0.3. Minus 4 over 0 0.4. So this is going to give me 2 divided by 0 0.2 is 10. 3 divided by 0 0.3 is 10. 4 divided by 0 0.4 is 10. So I have 9 times 10 raised to the power 9. Open bracket, 10 minus 10 minus 10. So that is times minus 10. So the answer is going to be minus 9 times 10 raised to the power of 10 volts. So that is what we did. What I just need you to do is to take this same question and practice it yourself. By following the rule, you can get it very well. Just take the question and practice it yourself. So this is it again. These are the these are the things given. Q1 is two microcoulombs, and the distance covered by two one is what Q1 is what 20 cm. So that is 0 0.2 meters. Q2 is minus three microcoulomb. So definitely, I didn't even put the microcoulomb. That was a mistake. I used the calculation of coulomb alone. So I was supposed to write minus 3 times 10 raised to the power of what? Minus 6. So everyone do that again. Everyone do it again. You are given the charges and the distances. So Q1 is 2 microcoulombs. So X1 is 20 cm. Q2 is minus 3 microcoulombs. X2 is 30 cm. And Q3 is minus 4 microcoulombs. X3 is 40 cm. So find it potential electric potential at the origin this origin by the electric potential at the origin that is by adding the potential of this one to the potential of this one three should be written as minus three so that is it i'm expecting your answers i'm expecting your answers please i am to position your phone very well so that i can screenshot Can you hear me? I can hear you. I can hear you. It says you position your phone so that we can screenshot. Joy, speak out. I can hear you. Please, I want to screenshot the um, the workings and all the details, please. I can't see your screen. It's blank.
It's not showing the full view. Just half. So you are really saying something. I think it's your network. What do you mind? I didn't hear anything, Joy. I didn't hear anything from you. I said that just. Can you hear me now? Yes. Can you hear me now? My, no. I put the phone down. Actually, if you want to see the question, this is it. Speak. I, I said that I, I want to screenshot uh, the work. Yes. The work is bad. I asked you to do it now. The full book, the full book. No problem. But the don't forget that I didn't please. use my the own time series to buy minus six. So you're supposed the to full use page. that. That was a mistake. So I can see everything. Micro column should be expressed as that thing times 10 to power minus 6 column. I have to bring it to the SI unit. This is the full page diary. Joy, this is the full page. Please don't stress me. This is the full page. What else do you think you are looking for? Look at it. Is this not the full page? But who are blurry back on? I don't know that is for my... Be fast with it all the way, Miriam. And... Has anyone gotten the answer? <coughs> yeah, I'm good. Thank you. Please talk.
Has anyone gotten the answer? Anyone? I got minus nine times ten is to power four. Hey, buddy. What do you think you are not correct? I mean, I should be correct. Or I mean, I should be close to correct. Any other person over there? Any other person? Any other person? Okay, let's treat this as, and then the tape. The relationship between the potential difference or the electric potential and the electric field intensity. So we can have about two different plates. This is a plate, this is another plate. They will be separated by a distance of D. Separated by a distance of D. So separated by a distance of D. So what is the potential difference? between the two plates if the electric field intensity around them is known if the electric field intensity around them is known so we can look for the the this thing there's an electric field around them you know the electric field that connects them that is e so there is a potential difference between them that's the difference between the potential of this one and that that is b so it is connected with this formula by saying the potential difference is equal, the electric potential is equal to the electric field intensity times the distance. So electric field intensity is B over D. That is why I mentioned this sometimes ago, that the, one of the units of electric field intensity is volt per meter. So V equals E times D. That is the formula we are going to use now. Once we solve this, I think I will end the class. So I've written out the question. It says two large horizontal parallel metal plates are 2.0 cm apart. So you already have the distance, 2.0 centimeter. That is 0 0.02 meters per meter. And the upper is maintained at a positive potential relative to the lower. The lower is negative, upper is positive. So that the field strength between them is E, that is electric field strength, is 2.5 times 10 raised to power 5 volts per meter. So find the potential difference. So V is going to be what? E times D. That is what we are saying. V is E D. What is E? E is 2.5 times 10 raised to power 5 times D is what? 0 0.02. So are we together? So this is going to give us 5 times 10 raised to power 3 volts. So and we've calculated it like that. Any question before I log out? Any question? I, I believe, even though it was fast and not really stuff, but I believe there are, there are some people that actually understood some things here. I'm very sure of that. So any question now? Any question? What's wrong with all of Can you solve that previous? Can you solve that previous one? Okay, that's nine times, okay. I said the first charge was given to be Q1 equals two micro coulombs with a X1 equals 20 cm. Q2 is minus three micro coulombs and X2 is 30 cm. Q3, Q4 is, Abi, Q3 is minus four micro coulombs and X3 is 40 cm. So this is going to be 0 0.2 meters. This is 0 0.3 meters, and this is 0 0.4 meters. So, me, I wouldn't like to use the formula. I'll just use this straight away, 1 over 4 pi epsilon, this. So, QI over RI. So, that is 9 times 10 raised to the power 9, open bracket, Q1 over R1 plus Q2 over R2 plus Q3 over R3. So, let 9 times 10 raised to the power 9, Q is what? 2 times 10 raised to the power minus 6 divided by 20. That is 2 times 10 raised to the power minus 2 plus 
this Q2 is minus 3. So I have minus 3 times 10 raised to power minus 6 divided by R2 is what? 30 cm. That is 30 times 10 raised to power minus 2. Plus Q3 is minus 4. That is minus 4 times 10 raised to power minus 6 divided by 40 cm. 40 times 10 raised to power minus 2. So I'm going to have 9 times 10 raised to power 9 times. So 2 cancels 2 here, right? So I'm going to have 10 raised to power minus 6 plus 2. So that's 10 raised to power minus 4. Plus times minus becomes minus. So 3 here, 1, 3 here, 10. So I have 10 raised to power minus 1 here. So this is 10 raised to power minus 5 plus this is, okay, this is 22. So 10 raised to power minus 5. Everything here is 22. So 10 raised to power minus 5. This is plus times minus as well. That is minus 10 raised to power minus 5 as well. So I have 9 times 10 raised to power 9 and brackets 10 raised to power minus 5. This is a law in indices. So this is um, subtraction law. This is 9 times 10 raised to power 9 minus 5. 9 plus minus 5. So that is 9 times 10 raised to power 4 volts. So amino is correct with our workings. 9 times 10 raised to power 4 volts. That is the final voltage. That is the potential at the origin. That is the electric potential at the origin. What did you make clear now? All right, everyone, let's call it a day today. So we'll be having the class, I think on Thursday or when is it so? Maybe on Saturday. So I wish everyone the best. If you have issues, just let me know. You have a nice time, everyone. Thank you Thank so you. much. Thank you. You're welcome. Let me place that one well. You have issues. issues. Ali, thank you. Okay. Thank you. All right, everyone. Andrew, sorry.